What's up guys, it's Video Effects Bros, and today we have a super awesome tutorial for you guys. But what I want to do, as always, is to show you how to make the effect in our latest video. So we open up here, and as you can see here, we have to make a fist punch, like right here. Uh, and we got the super awesome Super Smash Brothers outline effect right here from the Super Smash Brothers Brawl uh, game. So yeah, we have this outline here on Mario, and you can see it's like fire. It's like actually fire going around him. But what I want to do is recreate that colored effect on whatever, whichever part of the body you want to emit light. So yeah. I'm going to show you how to do that, how to make the cord colored part effect, and how to emit light onto someone's body, like so. So now, we'll start doing that, but first we want to see the effect animated so you can see how it looks. So yeah, that's about it. If you haven't checked out our video, checked out our video, we can you can see it right here. Uh, good stuff in this thingy right here. So yeah, what I want to do now is go ahead and just open After Effects, go to here, transfer this to here, and yes, open a new composition. And you have your fist composition. Let's call it um, SBB effect, Super Smash Brothers Brawl effect. So yeah, let's call it like that. We're gonna see. We're gonna start by duplicating the layer. I'm going to show you how to do this without a green screen. What you need is Adobe After Effects CS5. So yeah, duplicate the layer by holding uh, Command D. Just press Command D or Control D on Windows. So let's go ahead and just start. With the second fist layer, let's call it this um, fist or maybe um, arm. And let's call this one background So or, or BG. So let's go ahead and just start. Uh, the arm layer I'm gonna just go ahead and just select this thingy right here, Rotor Brush tool right here, and let's go ahead and click on that. Double click on the arm layer right here, and command and move your mouse to the right to increase the size of this brush. So the brush practically actually what it does is it actually outlines whatever you want to have in your video outlined, so that you can rotor brush it and rotoscope it. Um, so that after first can manually um, auto rotoscope that. So that's what you want to do. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, we am we are actually celebrating our um like partial partnership or something for YouTube. Like we're chosen we're chosen to actually just monetize our videos and everything. So now you got win money from our videos, get money from our videos, and so we appreciate you guys' help by subscribing right there right here and you guys are gonna subscribe and just follow our videos whatever you want follow tutorials or whatever so let's go ahead and start we wrote a brush this select that and we wait for after we selected that it, there it is and we set this to full resolution so we can actually render it all so yeah full resolution and we select this over here, we make it like a little bit smaller. Right there. Or we may even like select the fist and that's it. So we start uh, from the. We delete this rotor brush and start from the fist. Um, from the part where the fist comes up. Like when he closes his hand. So it's about right here. Right there. So let's go ahead and start with the lightning comes up too. So let's go ahead and uh, select this. And we have selected our arm. We have obviously we have to make a little bit a bit of uh, adjustments to it, but let's go ahead and just do that. And in the course of these frames, we actually um, go adjusting this. So let's go ahead and just stop that right there. Adjusting this so we can actually look at it 
later. Let's see how it looks. So as you can see, After Effects is tracking the hand, or maybe uh, if you can see it this way, is drawing the hand, the outline of the line of the hand, um, by actually going ahead and analyzing the edges of the image. So it analyzes the edges of the image and it gives you this results. And if you want to see what we have right here is this. If you saw this, we have the fist and that's it. So yeah, it's a good mask or rotoscope, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to keep rendering this. Alright, so we have a rendered um, segment of the clip and we actually have a fist right here. Just um, right there. So that's what we want to use for this tutorial actually. So let's go ahead and just set the smooth to 5 and the feather to 50. Now let's go ahead and see how this looks in solo mode. As you can see we have a super ultra mega, ultra mega um, rough mask like a good mask. Just set it to there. Right there. Now let's trim this down. So we can use it. And let's go ahead and continue with this tutorial. What we're gonna do next is simply duplicate the arm. Now let's call the face first one. Let's call the first one arm and the second one let's call it outline and let's go and just uh, make the effect so what we're going to do is first put second the background to curves search for curves and drag the curves to the background layer and just want to drag this point right here to uh, less uh, minor exposure. So we want to do that. And the outline, you want to hide it for a second. Grab the arm and select the curves adjustment and brighten it up a little bit. Just a touch, not too much. Oh, that rhymed. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and arm. And you want to next solo this. Oh, I'm sorry. Just hide this. Outline. And you want to select hue. Hue and saturation. Let's go into hue and saturation. And you want to set it to colorize right here by checking this box right here. And you want to put it set it to the color saturation to 65%, and the, uh, maybe 60, and maybe the change the colorize attributes like so right here. And that's how you change the color. But what we're gonna do is apply the effect to make it look like the Super Smash Brothers effect. So yeah, that's what we're trying to reach here, uh, aren't we? So let's go ahead and start. You all click on the stopwatch for colorized hue. And this is some advanced stuff for sure. You just write time times on the expression control. Maybe um 300%. Then you click away. And now we have changing colors. As you can see, set to half resolution here. And we render out, we see the colors are changing right there. From um, yellow to green, from green to blue, and then from blue to red. Whatever. You just know their colors are changing, so it's good stuff. Now, what we want to do next is actually we don't want to leave this as a fist. We have the effect done, but we want to make this the outline. So what we want to do is fast blur this. You're not going to actually just select the edges. We're going to fast blur this and just select fast blur, or go to effect, blur and sharpen, 
blur and sharpen your and fast blur. That's what you do. So it's going to set the blurness to a high level. And maybe right there, about there, 70, maybe fine. And then turn up the arm layer. And then you get your super awesome fast blur effect. But if you don't like the results as it is, you wanna make you wanna make go ahead and just search for simple choker and set it to before the fast blur and set it to a negative. So that will increase your outline. And the way it works is that it actually duplicates or interpolates the frames or the colors that are in that frame, in that edge. So let's go ahead and just turn up fast blur again and set this to negative 40. And then we have our outline. So what we're going to do next is um, actually go ahead and feather this a little bit more, the arm, to 60%. And the choke to 1% and maybe um let's see here. Right there. A hundred percent will be fine. It's not like it's choking it too much. Or we could use a simple choker right here. So yeah. That's about it. The arm, the outline, and the background just like this right here. As you can see, we have the super awesome. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl Final Smash as everything goes black in the background and the outline and our object or our character. So let's go ahead and just go back to After Effects, make this a little bit better, maybe brighten up or give some color to this hand right here. Right there, it looks much better. So yeah, you have a super awesome outline arm and with colors. So as you can see, when we change colors, it actually looks like it's just changing, like the Super Smash Brothers effect. So yeah, that's how you do it without a green screen, guys. So let's wait for it to load the actual. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So that's the actual color. And if you want to actually go ahead and just apply this to anything you want, you have to you have to roto brush it. So that's it. Now what we're gonna do is grab an adjustment layer and call it make a new adjustment layer and call it let's go ahead and call it body light. Apply a hue and saturation to it. So that way, when the, when the color is this color, this color, it will be colorized too. When it's green here, it's green here too. So let's go ahead and just leave it like that. Close this down. And then go ahead and just mask this out so we can match our footage. So yeah, now that we have the the hand, the hand, and we can actually put set uh, behind the outline on the arm, and it will be there on the clothes. So um, let's feather this out by hitting F on the keyboard. And there we have our light, but it doesn't look like a very cool light. It's it's actually like a real light. So let's go ahead and just make this a little bit better. Set it to four four hundred, and then. Increase curves. This will give it the effect. Trust me. Here we have super awesome light. But what we're going to do now is actually go ahead and just increase the light here. This will give it the effect it's needed too. So, yeah. That's about it, right? There and set to red a little bit more back here. If you want to make it even brighten it up a little bit more, you can do that. So that's awesome stuff. So now you have your outline and your thingy there. And your good stuff. So yeah. So you do it when it's like actually blue. 
can see it changes with the color. Let's wait for it to load. And there it is. Actually blue. It's actually reflecting on the on the clothes. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. This is how you do the Super Smash Brothers effect. If you want, you can actually uh, turn down the background too. So you can give a little more depth to the video. And that's about it. So thanks for watching guys and rock on.